Here we are at the start of the Timberline Trail at Timberline Lodge. This is looking up towards Mount Hood. I'm going to be going clockwise. And 41 miles from now, I'll come back up this trail here. And there's the Timberline Lodge with Mount Jefferson. And I think North Sister in the background. This is Zigzag Canyon, the first major climb and descent. Hoping to make it to the other side and then we'll set up camp for the night. We have some nice wildflowers along the trail here. We're just climbing out of Zigzag Canyon. The sun is setting, so hopefully we'll find a spot to camp pretty soon here. This is Paradise Park. Looking down south. Really nice quiet evening tonight. Here's Mount Hood. Good morning from Paradise Park. That's Mount Jefferson to the south. Should be a nice day today. This is the Sandy River. A couple hundred feet down there. A nice waterfall. And a great view. Back in November of 2020, there was a massive windstorm that ripped through this part of the trail. And you can see the Forest Service has done just a phenomenal job maintaining it because there's a lot of trees that came down this whole area over here. Yeah, pretty impressive. I just made it around Bald Mountain came around the corner and have a great view of Mount Hood here. This is the northwest side of the mountain, and that's the Sandy Glacier there, with McNeil Point on the left. If you look back, you can see the part of the mountain there that was destroyed in the 2020 uh, November windstorm. There was a wildfire here on the north side of Mount Hood a few years back. So there's some nice, nice silver trees and lots of wildflowers out this time of year. Here is the view looking north over the wildfire area to Mount St. Helens on the left, Mount Rainier in the middle, and Mount Adams on the right, all in Washington State. Here's the view, looking up towards Mount St. Helens, Rainier, and Adams. This is Y East Basin here that we just dropped down into. And way up there is Mount Hood.
This is Elk Cove. I spent the night here last night. Woke up to some nice views of Mount Hood. And now we'll be heading eastward around the northern section of the trail. I made it around the north side of the mountain through the burn section. And over here is Cloud Cap Inn. The only other inn slash hotel slash building on the trail. We're heading up the trail from Cloud Cap to Cooper Spur. I think that's Cooper Spur on the left there. And the trail contours around and heads over that ridge. This is the Cooper Spur shelter one of the shelters they have along the Timberline Trail. Pretty nice views up to Hood and Cooper Spur. Timberline Trail continues that way. And over here we've got hazy views towards Adams, Vermeer, and Mount St. Helens. Here's the trail looking back. Made it up to this pass. There's Mount Hood. And then we'll come back down the other side. This is the view from further down on Gnarl Ridge. Pretty big canyon down here. And then our trail goes down into the trees. Here we are at the Gnarl Ridge Trail. So Elk Park is about a mile down. That's where I'll be camping tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I'll come back up the trail, back to the Timberline Trail. I came just now from that direction, and I will head that way tomorrow morning. So, nine more miles to go. crossed Newton Creek back there, came over this ridge, and you can see the Mount Hood Meadows ski area. So you know you're close to the Timberline Lodge when you start seeing chairlifts. Beautiful Sunday morning, probably seven or eight miles left. Here's the trail coming up the other side of the canyon. Down there's the waterfall. And then Mount Hood. Here we are at the Mount Hood Meadows ski area. Just a few more miles left. And a nice easy trail. This is the White River coming down off Mount Hood. The Timberline Lodge is right over that embankment. Above the White River, back on the Pacific Crest Trail, just a few more, maybe one mile, 1.2 miles to go, then we're there. And here we are, back at Timberline Lodge. beautiful August afternoon.